the Desert Orchid Maiden Chase is next. This is a two and three quarter mile Maiden Chase. At the top, we've got Basil Brush, Boom Boom for Matt Cooper, Verde Ocean for Darren Thompson, Charming Woman for Craig Beckwith, New Year's Day for Martin Lidham, Star of Belmore for Graham Clitterbock, and Violet's No Weighty for Alex Cherry. A field of six on this one. And called in and ready to go, and off they go. And Basil Brush is just the early leader. Uh, Verd Ocean in second, and then the other four are all in a line at this point as they get to this ditch, which they all get over nicely. Basil Brush in the lead. Leading my about three. Second, I don't think who that bloke was it used to do, Basil Brush. He was in a music program as well. As they get over the third, it was called Get It Together. And he used to sing the theme tune at the beginning, it was cheesy, but one or two decent people turned up as guests. If you're interested in music, you can find it on YouTube. It's stashed away somewhere. I can't remember what his name was now, though. And they get over the fourth, they're all safely over it. And Basil Brush is in the lead. I know it was Derek Foles did it later on, didn't he? The uh, bloke who was in Yes Minister, but the bloke that did it originally before him, or maybe it wasn't the original one, but he was the one before him anyway, or after him, I can't remember. But anyway, he was the one who did it with a lot, and he called him Mr. Something, the same as he called the other one Mr. Derek. But he called him Mr. Something else, obviously. Anyway, back to the race, Basil Brush in the lead. <laughs> from New Year's Day. If you're going to call your horses after these things, you can expect me to waffle about them, especially when there's only five or six runners, so it's, your own, it's all your own fault. And as we get to the next ditch, I hope so now, of course, with these small films, there's probably only five people watching this, as there are six runners in it, and one of them's mine, so obviously I'm watching it now. They get over the six, they're all safely over that. And Basil Brush. Continues to lead from New Year's Day in second. A charming woman and star of Belmore. Gray will know the answer to that question because he's into his kids' TV programs and his music, so I'm sure he'll know exactly what it is and he'll post it in the forums for us. Hopefully, I'll remember before this gets out to air, though, because it's not going to happen until Sunday or Monday night, is it? Anyway, back to the racing, as I said, back past the stand. It's Basil Brush in the lead, Mr. Derrick, and whatever the other one was called. New Year's Day in second. And Charming Woman is third. Verde Ocean after that one. And Violet's No Waiting finally. Star of Belmore. Was it Roy? No, it might have been Roy. Anyway. <laughs> so Brush is in the lead from New Year's Day in second. I bet you can't guess what day that one was born. But Charming Woman is third. And then Verde Ocean. Violet's now waiting and finally star of Belmore the back marker. Over the ninth they go. Mistake by Darren Thompson's Verde Ocean. Verde Ocean. Basil Brush continues to show the way. This ditch New Year's Day over in second. And then Violet's now waiting third. This charming woman of Verde Ocean together. And finally, Star of Belmore is just finding it all a bit much at the moment. Over the 11th they go. Inside the final mile now, they've all been jumping well, and Basil Brush continues to show the way. On New Year's Day in second. Then Violet's No Weighty, Verd Ocean, and Charming Warren, and a gap of seven or eight lengths then to Star of Belmore. Basil Brush leads over the 13th. Ron Verde Ocean is now moved into second. New Year's Day is in third. And Charming Woman and Violet's no weighty. And they get back to Star of Belmore. It looks like it's going to be the unlucky one that doesn't pick up any prize money unless one of these leading five gets rid of their jockey over the last four fences. And it's Basil Brush who's been in the lead all the way. Ron Verde Ocean in second. And New Year's Day in third. Charming Woman and Violet's no weighty. Violet's no waiting now coming around the outside of New Year's Day into third. New Year's Day just been given the hurry up to get back into contention. But over the 14th, you can see the 
winning post is pretty close these last few fences come up pretty close together and it's Basil Brush the star of Belmore's been pulled up New Year's Day is now back in the battle again Verd Ocean closest to us has now taken the lead coming down towards the second last is Verd Ocean from Basil Brush and New Year's Day New Year's Day nearly went there Violet's no way to just passed him into fourth so too does Charming Warm but it's Verd Ocean over the final fence and clear now New Year's Day is starting to motor but it's Verd Ocean who's in the lead and Verd Ocean is two to three clear New Year's Day second and then in third place is no Violet's no way to Basil Brush on the inside but it's going to be Verd Ocean who's going to take it I think that mistake at the last cost New Year's Day any chance of the race he's running on but he's not going to get closer to the leader and it's Verd Ocean that wins it. New Year's Day just hands on the second from Charming Woman, third virus, no weighty, and then Basil Brush at the back. And Darren Thompson, it's on the score sheet with Verd Ocean. Comfortable winner, really, Verd Ocean for Darren Thompson. New Year's Day for Martin Lidham, second. Charming Woman, Greg Beck with third. Violets, no weighty. Alex Cherry, fourth. And long-time leader, Basil Brush for Matt Cooper, was fifth.